Prince Andrew did not wear his military uniform for Queen Elizabeth's Scotland service. On Monday, the Duke of York joined his siblings, King Charles III, Princess Anne, and Prince Edward at a service of thanksgiving for their mother and was noticeably the only one not wearing the traditional style. According to the New York Times, Buckingham Palace stated that Andrew did not wear the uniform because he is no longer a working royal. Andrew stepped back from his public duties in 2019 and later returned his military affiliations and royal patronages to the Queen after being accused of sexual abuse in a lawsuit brought against him by a woman who says she was trafficked to him by Jeffrey Epstein, claims he has denied. However, the palace told the Times that the Duke, who served in the Royal Navy in the 1982 Falklands War, will wear a uniform in the final vigil for his mother, quote, as a special mark of respect. Queen Elizabeth was honored in Edinburgh with an emotional tribute to the late monarch on Monday. During a service of thanksgiving, the crown of Scotland was placed on her coffin as her children, King Charles III, Prince Andrew, Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and the Queen Consort watched on. Her Royal Highness's coffin was draped with the royal standard in Scotland and dressed with a wreath of flowers. Following the service, Queen Elizabeth will remain at the church guarded by vigils from the Royal Company of Archers to allow the people of Scotland to pay their respects before she is flown to London. Her Majesty's coffin was taken in procession to the service from the Palace of Holyrood House, where she arrived on Sunday. In an emotional gesture from the moment, the Princess Royal was seen curtsying to the coffin at the monarch's residence. The tributes in Scotland come as the United Kingdom commemorates their late leader, who passed away peacefully in Balmoral last Thursday at the age of 96. Access Hollywood spoke to DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about this historic period of mourning for the Commonwealth. Operation Unicorn was the code name for the processes and plans that were put in place in order to ensure that everything was lined up ready for the Queen's death. And this really covers everything from funeral arrangements to the transportation of the body, timing of everything, and so on and so forth. It was basically all laid out long before the Queen passed away so that everyone who was involved knew exactly where they needed to be, exactly when they needed to be there, and exactly what roles they needed to fulfill so that everything can run as smoothly as possible. Now, a slight spanner was thrown in the works because the Queen was in Scotland when she passed away. Operation Unicorn, when it was originally put into place, had been done so under the assumption that she would pass away at Windsor Castle or Buckingham Palace. So they had to tweak the plan slightly in order to arrange for her body to be brought back from Scotland to London and also to ensure that it was honoured the fact that she had passed away in Scotland, the Scottish Parliament shut down for a day. She was also taken to Holyrood House so that the mere fact that she died in Scotland could kind of be honoured. And also that special place that Scotland held in the Queen's heart was also celebrated by those who knew her and loved her and so on and so forth. 